He's been thinking about it for a while. That owl is really staring at me. Sad. That's a sad bird to have to stare at me. If I had a dog, I'd just kill it. Not intentionally, mind you, but a pet is in no way good company for me. I'm as likely to starve it as I am to feed it. Good for you, owl, you old scarecrow, you. The owl, a porcelain image, does nothing. It's a figment of someone's imagination made manifest in ceramics. It is only clay, fired, hardened, painted, with a head that pivots on a metal ball. It doesn't know anything or do anything. A funny thing happened as I was walking down the street. Somebody asked me whom I voted for in the last election. Election? I don't understand. The black cat had crossed his path. The path having been crossed for one. As if a mirror had been broken every day for seven years. The seven years that he lived in Argentina, not realizing the mirrors that he was breaking, or thinking he was smiling, looking at himself inside them. What poor luck this fellow has. I would hardly call it luck. He's just evil, pure and simple. But you've heard him talk. How can you say that? He likes to dance and likes to listen to music. He is the devil, pure and simple. Remembrances. Remember the time I threw a bag of fast food out of the car window, speeding down the highway? I remember writing, I rule, on the outside of the paper bag. That was really something. It makes me laugh. I can't help it. It's not really the right thing to do, but I rule. That paper bag will be lost to time or history, or someone will be clearing the highway one day, pick it up and read what I wrote. I rule. Who the hell wrote this? They'll probably ask, most likely laughing because of the stupidity and the bravado it means.